and go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my new watch or jewelry that I have because I'm using ethanol and we're around a flame and I don't want to mess up my watch and jewelry. So I'm going to spray the area down with 70% ethanol to help sterilize our ledge counter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything into our sterile field, kind of set it up the way that I want to set it up. Now, I'm a lefty, so if you're right-handed, you may want to do things a little bit on the other end from the way I'm doing it now. So these are my two bottles. These are the media. Uh, this is the, the high-quality media that was created sterilely. So this is a sterilized, two sterilized bottles that are sealed, so that when I bring them into the field and break them, they were they will remain sterile. Break the seal. Got my two bottles up here. Got my algae culture here. A hand crank pump. I'm going to put two inside and I'm going to put this right in front. This is the 10 milliliter pipette right in front. Okay. Now, now that I kind of know how I want to set everything up, I'm going to spray them all down with ethanol uh, before I light the Bunsen burner. So, this is what we're going to do. Ethanol is extremely flammable, so do not turn on the burner before you spray this you know, stuff down. Okay. okay, now that everything's sterile, we can go ahead and start our gas. And from this point on, I'm going to go ahead and spray my hands down. Should have done that before I did the burner. I'll do it away from it. And I'm just, that way, my hands are going to try and stay in this field for the rest of this entire video. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to loosen up the lids, but not take them off. Do not want to touch the inside of any of these. So I'm just loosening them up for now. This is a sterile 10 milliliter pipette that I'm going to put on this. But before I do that, every single time I, I, I dip into this algae, I want to resuspend the algae so I know I get a nice even cell count of algae every time. So just swirl it around a little bit, make sure that you're suspending the algae. And I'm going to do this as often as possible or as often as needed. Okay? Break open the hand crank pump. I'm going to hold these down. I'm trying to keep my hands still in the sterile field. And I want to set this up so that the numbers, as a lefty, I can read them really well. Okay. Now that that's the case, I'm going to leave this right here in front for after I'm done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10 milliliters of the algae out and put it into the first bottle keeping my hands everything kind of near the sterile field as much as possible. There we Familiars, put that back on. I'm going to be very, very careful not to touch the tip of the sterile pipette to the water bottle, otherwise I'll need to grab a new pipette. And start over on that one. I'm going to close that and then move it out of the way a little bit, bring the other one forward. 
going to resuspend my algae. Make sure that's loose. I always have trouble getting this off. Again, try not to touch the tip. Keeping the cap in the sterile field so both hands are in the sterile field the entire time. If I need to stabilize it, I could always put the cap down upside down right here. Okay. And now these are pretty much good to go. With this would normally be in my sterile field hopefully and I'll just slide that in, take that off, and then I can tighten these up nicely. Now I'm going to keep them tight for now, but when I bring them to their growing station, I am going to loosen the caps once they're inside the growing station to allow for, for air to get to the algae and for gas exchange.